This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, Offset gets exposed some more by Cardi B. She puts out all the private text messages, and she says, everybody can see I don't want you, quoting him from last night when Offset was trying to play it off and then to calling her, like, all kinds of names because she smashed a guy while she was pregnant, whatever, whatever, you know? Uh, I think these two have a good but also toxic relationship because he's always cheating, and I think she's just fed up. Yeah, there's probably some truth that this goes along the lines of her album, but whatever. So he says, you don't want me? She says, not really. He says, okay, you want somebody else? She said, offset and please. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Please have a good night, she says. Then he says, okay, I just wanted to know, though. Can I beat it while you, will you uh, with you on the phone? Question mark. Yeah. Okay. Offset. She says this come from the same one that DM me all weekend, crashing out because he was blocked, hurt because I was going to Paris. He right. It will be the last time talking about this lame ass. Um, Usher's a savage out here. He tries to feed. Was this Holly Bailey um, a cherry in front of DDG? DDG took the cherry from him and fed it to her himself. Very Usher's very disrespectful, but Usher should be worried more about the D, the I, the D, the D, the Y, the D, the the D is Diddy, <laughs> because uh, Diddy definitely had fun with Usher when he was younger. Let's be honest, okay? was uh he watched usher uh before he i guess he was handed to usher i mean usher was handed to him by the label to you know show him the life before usher became an artist spooky man usher admits to seeing a lot of things and experiencing a lot of things listen usher is uh usher deleted all his tweets last week said then he claimed he was hacked pink did the same i mean you know Pink was out here saying, oh, I deleted my Twitter back in February. And she says, but she says the account will self-destruct. What was that in uh, March, April, May, June, June. Okay. She says, I don't know why I became a headline this week. I wiped my Twitter account of February 6th. Cat. There's something up with her and the Diddy thing. Okay. All these artists are scared. DJ Khaled's quiet. Fat Joe's quiet. All these guys partook in some way. They were around, okay? Everybody's quiet. 50 cents right. Everybody's quiet because they partook. Diddy is worried, as he should be. Um, You know, a lot of stuff is noise, though. Diddy... They, they, they come out with nude women buffet, resurface on lines amid legal battle. Who cares? That, that That's just freaky stuff. The other stuff is the more alarming stuff. But also, I think they added in a lot of stuff that they're not going to be able to prove. You know? You know, Diddy, what he does to women, like, that are aligned with him is bad enough. You know? The way he preys on people and abuses his power is bad enough. He's definitely not a clean, clean person, you know. Um, J. Cole's talking that tough stuff again on this new song with T. Grizzly. Listen, J. Cole, you 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 backed out of that Kendrick Lamar battle so fast and deleted the song. You ain't. Come on, you just you're just nice at rapping. Don't act like you're nicer than everybody else and tougher. You're not. I love J. Cole's music, but just cut the tough on the best talk. You, you got yourself out of that conversation. Just keep dropping good music. Young Miami, so much going on with her. You know, she has this, she had Rick Ross and Tia, Mer, Tia whatever her name is, Tia, the, the baby mama of Rick Ross on there. She says they're perfect for each other. Da 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 da. You know, she's another one that's questionable. 
Ross Intel is the same person. So what I noticed from Ross Intel interview is they both have the same turn offs and turn ons. So I asked Ross what was his um now I asked him what was his turn on and he said like a bitch that um keep their stuff together and I asked him what was her biggest turn on and she said I like a um what she said she like a fine nigga. A nigga that'll put that shit on. And Ross said the same thing. I feel like huh Ross is the same person and I feel like they soulmates. Personally that's how I feel. I think they saw mates and I think they're like, they just love each other. And that's how baby moments and baby daddies be at the end of the day. You just, they still be having feelings for each other. That's why when it comes to co-parenting, it's important not to have sex because it'd be hard to like separate the two. Ross and Tia is the same person. So what I know. Yeah, that's true. I'll give her that. But is she going to go visit Diddy is the question. Is she going to go visit Diddy? <laughs> This guy. Uh, so, uh, update mugshot Florida rapper Spot him, got him. He's scheduled to be released April of 2027. Yeah, this guy is just a mess, bro. He just keeps getting locked up. Yeah, he looks crazy. Anyways, he'll be all right. Max B says he wants Sexy Red on a track. Do you guys want to hear Sexy Red and Max B? He's very excited about this, too. Let's see if I can play that. Did I already lose that? Let me see. I guess he wrote the song for her or something, and he he wants her on it with him. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to find that again. I'm, oh, here it is. I need you on that sexy. I need hold up. This Max Bigger Bell, baby. What's good, sexy red? I need you on that. That's what your verse gonna sound like. That's just a case. I'm gonna wave you up. We go in the studio, make a wave. I gotta hit back and forth. Ow, ow, ow. Say it again. the verse? How the verse go? Get him sexy. Bend me over, dress me. Suck my nipples, suck my toes. Fuck me and all three of my hoes. Drop top, Billy got a drop top roll. I'm um, my stabby, stab with them poles. <laughs> 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 I think big, you know, I hope that people do do songs with him when he comes home so he can get back into the mix and makes the money he was supposed to make back then. Uh, taste, uh, all right, okay, so taste with uh, Tyga and Offset goes 10 times platinum. That's big. Offset says, This is big to me. And lastly, Fat Joe saved Pac's life. This guy has more stories than a library. He says, yeah, I was on the radio once, and they asked me about Pac, and I said, I like Pac, but he better not step to me. He knows not to step to me. He knows what will happen. And then he says, all the Puerto Ricans, you know, Pac was locked up at this time. Uh, he had to do, remember, he had to do that. It was for that charge right before he signed a death row. And he says all the Puerto Ricans felt like, oh, Fat Joe's got... And then he put on the voice, you know, Fat Joe's got beef with Pac. And then, you know, all of a sudden, Greg Nice calls. Uh, Greg Nice from Nice and Smooth calls Fat Joe and says, hey, man, I got Pac in the line. And he was like, yo, man, you got these Puerto Ricans on me, man. I don't know what you said, but you got to get them off me. And Fat Joe sends a kite out to leave Pac alone. And they protected him the rest of the time because Fat Joe was a dawn. This guy's a croc. That's what he is. He's already a legend in hip hop, but he's got to now be the Don. He's too much, man. Yo, Fat Joe is too much. He's got to stop. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.